Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and today is time again for DAX Fridays. And as you can see, we're going to go through a function that we've already looked at in a previous video, which is a function wrapped. But I am going to use this to do a super cool trick. And this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time, and it's how to create spark lines on tables. Okay, so we're going to create a table and then we're going to have bars with the size of the dimension on the tables. This is super cool. Let me show you what I mean. So here is my demo example and you can see here the end result of what we are going to do in this video. So if you are still interested, stay tuned because I'll show you exactly how to do it. So let's see how we do this. Uh, if you remember uh, the function rept, we explained that, I think it was two DAX Fridays ago. Um, what rep does is it repeats a text a number of times and you have to specify how many times you want it to repeat it. So let's start small. We're going to create a measure. And we are going to just call it, I don't know, spark line I spark line test for example and we're going to use the function rep not that one oh rept and now what we want them to repeat is the bar there you go and now just so you see how it works we say repeat this one time it's very simple to use. Here it comes, we'll put it in there, create a card, and as you can see, the spark line comes up one time. Cool. Now we say repeat it three times. And there you have it, three times. Cool. So as you can see, it's a very straightforward function. But now, I'm sure that you see where I'm going. After, we don't want to have a three here. We want to have actually the total sales because we want to have a number of bars, the same number of bars as the same number of sales. Of course, we don't want to have 32,698 bars. That would be too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide these, for example, by a thousand, right? So we don't get that many bars. You could do divide it even by you know, 10,000 if you want. So instead of three here, we are actually going to get our total sales measure and we're going to divide it by a thousand. And what is giving us here is the total. Okay. But if we take these and we put it in the table, you get magic. This is wonderful. Uh, let's see. There you have it. So as you can see, this is very easy to use. You know, I've been doing a lot of reports for CFOs, you know, financial people, and they like to see numbers. And I know you have a lot of financial guys here listening to me now, but you know, I prefer to see data visually. I really like to see, you know, the, the dimension of things, not just a number. Uh, I, I think for financial people, the, the numbers mean more. For, for me, I, I want to see how big things are and compare it to the others. It just gives a very, um, you know, as a visual person, it just helps me understand the data better. And one of the things I've been struggling with doing dashboards for financial reporting is that you want to see the exact dollars number, but then you're missing the actual visibility of how big this is comparing to everything else. So that's why I've been, you know, banging my head on the wall. Just like I have to find a way to visualize on the table. And I was actually doing like, you know, bar charts that I would put behind and it would become a mess. and. This, I think, is the cleanest and best way to do it. We're going to do one last thing. Let me take that away. As you can see, the total is actually giving us 
the, the, the sum and this is like huge it, it is a waste of resources we don't want to have that in there it brings no value whatsoever so we're going to remove that and for that we are going to use if has one value i already have a dax video on that make sure you check it out and then we are going to use product name so that means if only one product name is selected and on this table here it is only one only one only one then do this formula otherwise do nothing and voila so you don't get the sparkline on the total if you want to have it you can keep it it's fine but yeah i think it's just waste of resources so i really hope you enjoy this um this tutorial i think it's super useful and i hope you find it useful too for your reporting dashboard so this is all for today okay so it is Friday again, it's time to go home. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, make sure you like it and uh, you share it if you think every, uh, somebody else would also like to see it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions on the video, let me know on the comment box and I will answer you as soon as I can. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great Friday. Bye.